Hi guys, Larissa here, and I want to share with you the gift bags. Um, I ended up videoing the whole thing and then realized that it didn't catch any of it. So now I have two gift bags to share with you, and I'm going to show you how I made them. Um, this one's the one that we're going to make, and um, I'm going to share with you how to do the really cute um, ribbon up at the top. Um, the products that we're going to use are May Arts Ribbon, um, Memory Box Die, uh, Paper Tray Ink um, Stamp Set, and Glimmer Mist. Um, so let's get started. Um, we um, can find these uh, gift bags um, at any of your craft stores, um, and they come in usually packs of 25 to 40. Um, I tea dyed mine first, and then I took Wheatfield's uh, Glimmer Mist, and it's like a tea dye color with um, like a really pretty green iridescent um, shimmer to it, um, and then sprayed the whole thing, and um, then I like to go across with a um, ink pad and ink up the edges um, just to give it an even more uh, aged look. Um, and then next, what we're going to do is take our die. Um, this is the memory box die that I used, and it's called the Flowering Christmas Tree. Um, and this is the way that it looks. Um, and so I just took a piece of cardstock and I cut that out. Um, and then I went in with a glue pin and um, traced along all of the green uh, edges. And then we're actually going to take a product called Flower Soft. Um, and this is a gold Flower Soft. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, and we're going to do the flowers with this really pretty um, Flower Soft. So I'm going to come in with some glue and I'm using the, um, and you can use any type of glue for this. Um, you could even use your Xyron. Um, the only thing is, is that it's kind of, it would be kind of hard to do, um, all of your glittering without um, with the two different colors but if you wanted to do just a single color um, you could use your Xyron um, let me zoom in here a little so you can see a little better what I'm doing um, you could use your Xyron machine and um, do it just one color and it would be really easy and not I mean it takes no time at all um, that's one reason why I like my Xyron um, I like it for applying glitter. Um, so anyway, we're just going to cover all of these little flower images. And then we're going to come back in and sprinkle, um, sprinkle them with our Flower Soft. So once those are all covered, um, we'll just take your Flower Soft here and just sprinkle um, each of the little flowers with the flower soft here and I love this stuff because it doesn't take very much um, and you get like a really beautiful um, look like the 3d look and just the color of this alone is just beautiful um, it's got a little shimmer to it but yet it's not like a ton of shimmer um, and so I love that Anyway, I'm just going to press down that flower soft into the glue a little better to make sure that it's stuck really good. I'm going to add just a little bit more down here. Then we'll just pick that up and shake off the excess here. And I found when I was cutting these out um, that it's better to use a thicker cardstock um, weighted paper. Um, I used a My Mind's Eye paper for the first one, um, and it did okay, but I liked the regular um, cardstock. I used a, a Coordinations cardstock. Um, it's actually a Tim Holtz uh, Coordinations cardstock, and I love the thickness of it because it makes this dainty little tree um, really easy to work with. So anyway, once that gets done, that's what it looks like and just looks beautiful. 
And I'm going to clean up my mess here real fast because I'm one of those uh, accident prone people. If I don't put my lid back on right away, um, I end up having a disaster. Um, and then everything is all over my work area or on the floor. So we'll get that cleaned up. And then what we're going to do is take a little piece of cardstock. And I am actually using a DCWV um, cardstock here. And I'm going to use my scallop punch. And I'm just going to line this up along the edge of my scallop border here and um, punch that so that I have a double-sided edge. And then I'm going to come back in with my ink pad and ink up the edges of that scallop um, just to make it more permanent so you can see it better. And then I'm just going to take a piece of my mind's eye um, paper and I'm going to layer that on top of the turquoise piece. And this is going to be what we're going to attach our tree to. And, just, and I did ink the edges of this piece of paper as well. Um, and I forgot to mention, this is a Stampin' Up! Um, scallop punch, and I love this. Um, I have a EK Success scallop punch too, but I find that I like the scallops of my Stampin' Up! one better. Um, you wouldn't think it'd be that much different, but it, it really is. So then I'm going to take my Christmas tree here and I'm going to actually use pop dots um, to pop the back of that up um, just on each of the flowers. So I'm just going to take one of my larger square pop dots and cut um, this into little squares. And then I'll add this to the back of those little flowers and we'll pop this up. Um, you wouldn't have to. You could glue this right down um, onto your paper the way that it is, but I like the um, look of the pop dot, um, the shadows that you get with the pop dots. So I'm going to just add these onto the back here. Ah, and they're sticking to my fingers. They don't want to go down on the on the piece very well here. So anyway, once we get those on, and we'll just stick this right onto our card front here. And then we can stamp right onto our get that centered there. And actually, I'm going to dry this a little bit just because I want that flower soft to dry. Um, you can heat it with the heat tool, um, and it doesn't bother it at all. So there we go. Okay, and we're going to come back in on our bag, and we're going to take our stamp. Um, this is a homespun stamp, and it's from the Paper Tray Ink um, Love Lives Here um, holiday stamp set. Um, and if you haven't ever checked out Paper Tray Ink, you can find them at papertraytreyinc.com. Um, and down at the very bottom of the page, there's a link for Nicole Hetty's um, blog, which I think it's Nicole Hetty at typepad.com. And they have monthly giveaways and um, for their new stamp sets each month. Um, and just tons of different ideas. Every Monday they do a Make It Monday video. Um, so go and check them out. They're awesome. All of the ladies, I think Betsy Beldman and... Um, Melissa uh, Phillips and Dawn McVeigh and a ton of those ladies, Erin uh, Lincoln, um, are all over there. Um, they're on their design team and they design stamps. Um, so go check them out. They are just awesome. I love their stamps. Um, they also have dyes and just they're just a really awesome group. 
So anyway, once we get that done, we'll stick our tree down and then we're going to take our big bite um, and we're just going to fold it over the top of our bag here and punch two little holes at the top of our bag. Let me make sure I get this straight here. It'll look a little better. Um, and it's funny, these bags sometimes aren't straight, so um, kind of makes it interesting sometimes when you're putting stuff on the front of them. But I'm just going to come in here and punch two holes. And if you want to measure, you can measure. I usually just eyeball it. But we're going to take our May Arts ribbon, um, and I'm using this beautiful, beautiful lace um, ribbon. And we're going to take our gumdrop um, glimmer mist, and I love this color. Um, and we're going to spray our ribbon here really fast um, to make it match the design of our bag. Um, so we'll just come in here and heat, heat, heat this real fast. Um, and it'll match with the turquoise of our bag. Um, I love Mayart's ribbon. They have such beautiful, beautiful colors and designs, and you can usually find any type of ribbon that you're looking for. Um, I'm actually on the Mayart's ribbon design team, so you can come and check out our blog this week. We're doing um, a blog hop with Lawn Fawn, um, and so we have giveaway weekly giveaways and um, things on our on that blog as well. So go check them out over at mayarts.com, um, and you can win some awesome stuff this week. Um, then I'm just going to come in here and trim the ribbon to fit across my bag, and come in at an angle here on either end, and. Um, I like to leave the bags um, so that the recipient can get into them easily. Um, so I try not to glue anything down to um, my bag um, where you need to open it at. So I just come in and do my ribbon like this across the top and this will hold the bag closed. Um, and then I'm just going to come in and make a ribbon, a bow, out of this other ribbon to put across the center there. And we won't even have to attach this right to the bag. We can attach this right to the center ribbon. And the recipient will be able to um, just pull that right out and open their bag and not ruin any of the pretty decorations that we have um, on our bag. So anyway, my little bow made here. And then I'm also going to take um, some jute uh, ribbon. And Mayart's has this in tons of different colors. And I'm just going to make um, three different, three little loops around my hand. So I'm just going to loop it around my hand like this. Um, and then this is what I'm going to add to the um, behind the bow here. So I'm just going to take a glue dot and place that right in the center of my ribbon here. And you may need more than one, but see how I'm just holding the bunch of ribbon together and I'm forming like this pile of jute. Um, and I'm just turning it and ad adding the glue dots to keep it into, um, to form it into a loop. And I'm going to cut off this little end here. And then I'm just going to add that right to the center of that little bow that we, that little green part that we put through our bag. I'm just going to add that right there. And then I'm just going to add my bow right on the top. And you have a beautiful little gift bag to give as a gift or um, to put um, homemade yummies in, um, just anything that you want. So anyway, um, I have one more video and I'll be back with another technique um, for a bag idea. Um, 
And I hope you guys have enjoyed the flower soft um, technique. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back with another video. Have a fabulous day.